thank you so much for all the wishes to krish <clears throat> he's off to school so um evening only we are planning to take him for uh, dinner so meanwhile i know i've been talking about um um what do you say like skin care uh, in few of my stories and this is one thing that is pending for so long i wanted to show how versatile the shadow sense colors are <laughs> this is my own, my own palette you can see i always separate them in uh, uh, the matte colors and the shimmers and the glitters so that way i can grab them any time so let's see how versatile this product is so shadow sense is our creamed powder eye shadow uh, it's all day wear it's um, it comes with the uh, um, anti aging benefits to it at the same time it's smudge resistant and water resistant and you can use it one product in multiple ways so the first one i'm going to show is i'm going to show how i am going to use this color as my eye uh, for my eyebrows so you can see i'm going to use a brown you can use the black too this one cloudy chewed up this is the onyx that's the black or you can also mix the color you can get a palette like this where you can take uh, since it's cream to powder you will be able to mix them and uh, uh, you will be able to create your custom color too here i'm using a matte shade as i was talking about um, the shades can be um, done into whether it's a shimmer whether it's a um, matte or it can be glitter too whenever i touch first i like to go at the end instead of going in the front that way it doesn't feel harsh to me and as i said if you like black you can always go with the onyx too i am going for more of like the everyday look so here i'm just filling in any time when you fill always make sure you comb it through for a natural look that will make it look as if it's not too harsh and when you come to the front turn the brush like this and always do simple strokes so that you will fill your eyebrow i have also swatched the color here so that once i'm done i'm going to swatch all the colors i'm going to use so i can show how water resistant and smudge resistant it is next one we are going to see is how you can use it as a concealer so i have always uh, told my customers so even if you are someone who uh, don't wear eye shadow you can still do this because our eyes are very very thin so here what it does is you will have um, unevenness and also the veins showing up by concealing it like this you are going to get like a even base and that way um, even if you are doing an eyeliner thin so here what it does is you will have um, unevenness and also the veins showing up by concealing it like this you are going to get like a even base and that way um, even if you are doing an eyeliner or a mascara it's still going to look clean the next one i'm going to show just as uh, how you can use as a shadow sense color um, the key to uh, having a clean eye look is having a brush clean and also taking a little bit at a time this is not an applicator this is just to take the product out and always start very small that way you will be able to control how the color you want to look the same color when you layer it you are going to make it a um, little bit darker so just to take the product out and always start very small that way you will be able to control how the color you want to look the same color when you layer it you are going to make it a um, little bit darker so always start small and start adding and then you will be able to blend well and you can see this blends really well into your skin and gives that such a perfect natural look so even for a beginner these colors will work well now that we have a matte shade i just want to quickly show how you can um, make it into a shimmer color so here i'm using a um, shimmer shade called cinnamon shimmer um, you can pretty much use anything as I, you can see i'm just touching a small amount and i can just apply it all over so that way i can make it look more shimmery or um, matte based on my preference so here i'm just adding a little bit of shimmer here uh, on the lids alone so do you see the difference between just a matte versus a shimmer i'm going to also show how you can use a glitter shade here so here i am using my favorite rose gold glitter do you see 
even by just taking a tiny amount how much it has come so anytime when you are using a glitter just make sure you rub it in so that you will get the desired amount and then you will just press it on top of your lids this way you, you the same color you can um take it from morning look to evening look without much uh, doing anything like anyway it's going to stay all day so for example if i'm wearing this for morning look i can just add this at the end of day and it will look perfect so i'm also I'm going to add a shimmer shade as my highlighter here so you can see you just need very tiny amount and this is going to add like nice glow um, like how we add a uh, polyester similar way um, adding a shimmer here I'm using buttercup shimmer but even sandstone pearl shimmer or anything should work that way it will add a nice highlight whenever you turn I added the same as my inner highlights too next thing is i get asked it all the time i use shadow sense as my eyeliner and it stays so well and it's one of the easiest to do just you need a brush because that way you can just touch a tiny bit and you will be able to um, do any color as your eyeliner so that way it becomes so versatile like you have endless combinations to do and always make sure that you are connecting the dots like it once you do it's going to stay all day so that way it's like effortless do you see i did a wing and it's going to stay all day and it's so easy so here i'm also going to use it in my waterline um so this is my favorite uh, uh, sigma e 65 brush so as i said any color whether it's onyx whether it's a, a brown you can do every single color in your waterline or as an eyeliner so um, you can make your custom colors too so that way you have endless possibilities so i'm going to just take the pink posy and just do it on my lower lashes alone this is one technique i always tell my customers too so don't leave your eyeliner too harsh instead just blend it a little bit that way it looks so smooth so i already have my base face on so next one we are going to use is we are going to use it as a contour here i have taken out the stopper so i'm going to use like a tiny bit because this itself will be more so what you are going to do is you're going to just pat it and then blend it along this is going to um, blend really with your foundation and also as i said you can always do a three so you what you will do is you will do start here and come back down and then same way just a tiny bit and you will also do your jaws to give that more chiseled look so always make sure you do like a three so what you here it's like just to bring back all the shadows that you um, taken out using a foundation or ccd so this is my favorite i think may, i have uh, shown it many times so now i'm going to use shadow sense as my blush shade here i'm using a uh, desert rose which can be a really perfect shade even as you are a beginner you can see it blends so well and it uh, um, gives that flawless uh, pinkish cheeks and uh, since these are going to be cream to powder it is not only going to stay all day and uh, here I'm going to use sandstone pearl shimmer as my highlighter. So these things you can even blend with your fingers. You don't need to have a fancy brush and all. But you can see the glow it adds with that tiny amount. Like these are like so easy for rub. Even as a beginner. But once you learn you will use it in multiple ways. And as I said even with one color you can branch out and add so many different ways so you have seen it in so many different ways the last one i wanted to show is using it as your lip color here i'm using a color called sun um, sunbaked shimmer it's a sold out shade but any pink should work so it will uh what is it like uh, dry up um but i you know i like glossy finish so i am just going to top it with glossy gloss so 
that's the finished look uh, i hope uh, um, it was useful for you to learn about uh, shadow sense a bit and i have uh, swatched all the colors here so i'm going to run it under water and also show you how uh, it's smudge resistant you can see it won't move or budge or do anything once it sets so that way it's going to be a really really nice way you don't have to worry you can get ready in the morning or evening and then will have all the anti-aging benefits to it so if you have never tried please do try it and here you have your you can make your custom palette instead of buying a palette and using only few colors from there here you will be able to pick your own colors and use it more often